Hello and welcome to another page of the Muspelheim Chronicle. Surprise! No, I'm, I'm kidding. It's it's still Midgard, but uh, Muspelheim is still thematically important. I recently saw a post on Twitter by France with a translation of all the Jotnar shrines. This is nothing new. The shrines have been examined and discussed to death, but something caught my eye. Groa's shrine, like many others, shows Ragnarok, but something about this one stood out. The image of the army fighting the Aesir is labeled as the Sons of Muspel. And I was like, hold up, the fire giants? Do we know anything about them at all? Are they even still alive? What's going on? The reason I was surprised is because I thought Sir... Sir I hate this name. Because I thought Big S is the only fire giant left. Mimir says, Until then, alone he waits in Muspelheim, never sleeping. Ever honing his fiery blade. So I assumed there are no fire giants left except for him. There is so much talk about the giants of Jotunheim, the backstory of their civilization, destruction and isolation. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, that's pretty cool actually. <laughs> but we know absolutely nothing about their fiery brethren, so I assume they're all dead. Especially because there's no hint of them in Muspelheim. So naturally, the shrine threw me off. If the fire giants are going to fight at Ragnarok, where are they? What's even more confusing is how misaligned the interpretations of Groa's visions are. And like most other shrines, we have another source for Groa's story in the Lost Pages podcast, which details Groa's Ragnarok vision. She saw the worlds plunge into a bitter three-year winter. She saw the sky split and the realms began to tremble and quake. She saw a horrible terror emerge with a flaming sword and in the events leading up to it all, she also saw a pale, white ghost from a distant land and his young son, somehow intertwined in this terrible prophecy. The interesting thing about that is this vision is the most accurate description of Ragnarok we have so far, simply because there is a mention of Kratos and Atreus, which brings us back to the shrine. Now, the question is, are the shrines reliable sources? Not really, because they're basic artistic representations of past events. On Groa's Ragnarok Shrine, we see the Muspelheim Giants, but not Big S, who was clearly mentioned in Lost Pages, and of course, Kratos and Atreus are not here either. My interpretation is this. The Jotnar Shrines show how things would have happened if Kratos never arrived. Because Kratos shifted things around and changed the balance of the Nine Realms, some details changed. For example, Magni and Modi would have been at Ragnarok, but now they won't because you know. Could the same be said for the fire giants? We don't know how far this butterfly effect could go, but could it be that the fire giants are no more for some reason? After all, it is said that Big S is alone. Now, another thing I wanted to bring up is that there are armies shown battling against the gods in other shrines that picture Ragnarok. This one in particular even shows the ship Nagalfar, which is the ship Loki uses to bring the Jotnar to battle in Asgard. Now, the interesting thing is that the fire giants are a part of Ragnarok and Myth, but they arrive separately, led by Big S. So, they have nothing to do with Nagolfar, which sails from Jotunheim. So, my personal theory, detailed in this video, is that the army of giants is brought back from the past using time travel shenanigans. After all, if all giants, both frost and fire, are gone, where would an army come from? Unfortunately, this still doesn't answer the big question, what happened to the fire giants? I guess we will never know, I thought to myself. And then I checked lore and legends and it said that they're just hiding and we'll meet them at Ragnarok. So yeah, that's that's the answer. I, I guess they I guess they're just shy and Big S is even more shy because he's alone by himself. Uh well that was a waste of everyone's time, wasn't it? Well, not really, because the Nagelfar question still remains. It is famously the ship that delivers the giants of Jotunheim, not Muspelheim, and if so, will we still see the return of the Jotnar as well as meet the fire giants properly? Very, very interesting situation here. What do you think? Why is so little known about the fire giants? Do you think that means that the Jotunheim giants will not return? Why won't Odin and Thor just kill Big S now before Ragnarok so he doesn't end Asgard? I guess that's a separate topic altogether. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.